All right, guys, they have done it again. Another Western team picked Lilia at MSI. This time, it was Team Liquid, and Umpty is picking Lilia. I will say, I've already watched this game. We're in for a good video, okay? I don't know. I don't know. Listen, if you are a pro player in North America or Europe, and you want some team fighting advice from me, which I think both G2 and Team Liquid's juggler. I know you guys are probably better than me, but at Lilia, I think you guys could team fight a little bit better. So hit me up in the Twitter DMs if you guys want coaching, okay? Any pro players out there. Let's get into the video. So Team Liquid actually picked Lilia R5, right? Which R5 means the fifth pick for red side, which is the last pick of the draft, right? So you see all nine other champions, and that's when you pick Lilia. And why did we pick Lilia here? I'm very confused, okay? Why did we pick Lilia here? You see the enemy team has Oriana, Senna, Orn, Vayne, Poppy, okay? Let's go through it one by one. What champions is Lilia good into? Poppy and Orn. She's pretty good into those champions. Vayne, Senna, Oriana... No, those champions all are very, they're not very good. Like, they're pretty good into Lilia. Senna is like, whatever. Vayne and Oriana, though, are very hard to team fight against and just fight as you go on. And let me tell you guys, pro games, they do go to team fights most of the time. So if you go to team fights against Oriana Vayne as Lilia, do you really think you're going to be happy? And it's not like it's like, oh, I'm going to go through their front line and like, get to their back line. like no it's orn poppy they ha they can stun you they can knock you back very easily okay so uh would i personally have picked lilia here probably not definitely not you have to pick lilia in pro play against champions where you can actually play the game all right so let's see we have to think about in pro games is lane swapping and it looks like Team Liquid is lane swapping. So Umpty is starting Wolves. So they know that Poppy is invading his blue buff. So he's probably just going to take his Wolves and then clear up. So that he takes one camp from the quadrant that Poppy's trying to clear. So if Poppy's trying to dive this Cassante on the third or second wave, Poppy's going to be level 2, not level 3. Right? Because we took the Wolves away. So that's pretty standard. Uh, pretty smart by Umpty to do that. And just going to his Raptors. It's not a big deal for Poppy though, because Poppy can still dive. But it is a four-man dive, right? So it's Impact can't do anything anyway. I think Impact standing there was kind of a waste. If I were Impact, I would have just ganked mid already. Looks like Poppy's hunting him. So, Lilia skipped red buff here. Which I actually think is very smart, right? Because you did your Wolves, and then you did your Raptors, which are small camps. And if you do your red buff, the red buff is also a small camp in terms of XP. So if he did his red buff, he would be level 2 still. Instead, he does his Krugs and hits level 3 off only 3 camps, right? And then he's going to go invade so that he has a, more time to invade the enemy jungle. He can invade it faster and then still be able to do his red buff later. Because it's unlikely that Poppy's going to get to his red buff. So pretty decent start for our Lilia. Owner has not been farming a lot of camps. He's farmed two camps. But they do dive mid lane. Which I don't know what happened to Cassante. Oh, he's gone now. I actually think Team Liquid is already behind because of the way they did this lane swap. Orn can just crash this wave. So, Vayne has already recalled for the top wave. Orn crashed an extra wave bot. And he can just TP wherever he wants now. So this is actually not very good for, for us. Oh wait, I forgot the Senna is our AD carry. But like, regardless, like... Now Vayne is chilling. 
and she already has a level lead. But Unti though, Unti, 28 CS, about to hit 32 CS on our first clear, which is pretty good, and our wolves have already spawned. So if I were Unti right now, I would just cheat tempo, and I would just do all three camps. Yeah, look, he pings all three camps. Right now, he's just telling his team, like, just relax, guys, I'm scaling. I'm going to do all three camps. Poppy is pinging it too. Poppy knows exactly where Lilia is. It's kind of awkward because the, the Gromp is going to be spawned now. But we don't want to waste time walking to our Gromp. So I wonder what he's going to do after these Krugs. Like, he has nothing to do topside. Like, he just recalls and goes to Gromp. And then maybe he can help his mid lane or his bot lane. And then his... But the question is, like, after Gromp, does he play for the Void Grubs or does he play for the Dragon? The Vayne does have a level lead top. And your mid laner has no flash. So playing for the Void Grubs seems a little scary. Let me just fast forward a little bit. So Lily goes to the Gromp. So here it is. If I were him, I would probably... I would just try to cover my mid laner and then play for Dragon. Oh, wow. He actually hit that. Just checking the Raptors. I don't think they're spawned. So right now... Okay, the Raptors just spawned. We saw the Raptors spawn. They 2v2 them here. Very good. You have Kalista, so you could probably one-shot Dragon. I think they should one-shot Dragon and then go for the Raptors. But they're going for it. This I do not like this guy. I'm just What is my camera doing over here? Alright, I, I I can't believe my camera. <laughs> I'm gonna edit that. But my camera was in the center of the screen for that <laughs> entire duration. Anyway, so I actually really do not like this, what they're doing right here. Because you're looking for a kill play, right? You already made a kill play, right? Your bombing killed their Senna. You already made a kill play. And now you could just do the dragon with your Kalista. Kalista is really strong and competitive because she one shots objective, because she one shots objectives early game. So I would do dragon here, and then I would go for the enemy raptors, and then I would go to my wolves, raptors, krugs, and I would be super far ahead. But instead, now I guarantee that his bot lane was like, dude, we should cheese Senna here. So you're like, uh, okay, like I have to do it, right? Because my bot is doing it. You want to be with your bot lane when they're doing an aggressive play like this. But I. I don't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be a waste of time. This looks like it should be a waste of time, like 50% of the time, right? So there's a 50% play when you could do a guaranteed play that'll get you an objective and four camps. And Senna doesn't even walk Balin, because why does she need does she need to walk Balin? Of course not. So we still get the Krugs. But now I think that um, your tempo is just slower, and you don't have dragon. So now I actually think that going for the Raptors is very scary, right? You don't have your Callista with you. Oh my God, they're not showing in the ward. They're so lucky. Oh, this looks pretty bad. He dodged the Orion ult. Hold on. 
That's actually a crazy E. Wow, it actually worked out. Okay, I I'm surprised that it worked out. That was pretty well played by them. I will say though, I, I think that Faker just played that really bad, right? Like, do you think that was like a good play? Would I, would I think that that play would work most of the time? Probably not. I actually think that play would fail most of the time. And also, let's just go back. Like, let's look at that map state right here. So even though that was pretty good, I think did they get one or two kills? They got one kill on Rel. So even though that was like, I, that felt pretty good. Like we beat them in the fight. You used your Lilia ult. You used your Lilia flash. And now you're trying to do dragon, which I think that he's, <laughs> this dragon is really bad. And this entire time, right? And even after this dragon is dead, just think about how much time he has spent going for plays that are not necessarily guaranteed. And they're not necessarily giving you a lot of resources. When he could have just done dragon and then done all of his camps. But now all of his camps are just sitting there alive. Like look at that. Look, look at the map. There are five camps that have been alive for... Some of them have been alive for like a minute. Some of them have been alive for like 30 seconds. It's just... It's not like ideal. And I don't think that if you play if you played in that way over the course of many games, I don't think it'll be good for you. Because what happens if that invade would have went bad, which I think it should have went bad. Look at this, like okay, we have no mana. We're gonna get the dragon. But we just overstayed our tempo. And now, because we greeted for that dragon, we die, right? We overstayed our tempo by a lot. A lot of times, when you guys watch my videos, you'll understand that you should be taking turns, right? And on Lilia, when you use your ult and your flash, that's a turn that you've taken. And you cannot be on the map. Doing something aggressive when you don't have your flash and you don't have your ult. So I think that this line of decisions made by Umti and by TL in general, right? You can't blame one player because in competitive, teams are making plays together. And as a jungler, you have to learn when to tell your team no when they ask you to make a play. That's besides the point. Because of all this, now you just gave over three kills for a cloud dragon and when you die like that that's another what 30 40 seconds where you're not clearing your camps so now these camps have been alive for up to two minutes some of them that's to say guys um when you analyze pro games like there are plenty of mistakes like especially when you watch like EU and NA, it's easier to point out some mistakes because the teams like SKT, Gen.G, Billy Billy, like all these Eastern teams, they will make your mistakes obvious. It's so funny because when you watch like NA teams play against NA teams or EU teams play against EU teams, it looks like they're all playing super well. But then when you watch them play against Asian teams, you can just see the mistakes because they get punished. What happened here? I'm very interested. So if we go back here, I'm very interested to know how our Lilia ended up in this situation. So not only did she delay all of her tempo earlier by doing the dragon and she threw three kills, she respawned and did three camps on her bot side. And now she's top lane and there's still three camps alive top side. So he skipped his full clear to cover this play. So let's go back and like see like what was Lilia doing? She ran all the way through mid lane, counter this play. <laughs> she got poppy ulted. Oh, 
you'll notice a lot. Asian teams will never TP like this. So, Umpty and APA, the Ziggs. So Ziggs TP'd there, and Umpty followed up. But they were following up to the play after their top laner had already died. You have to be very careful and competitive to not be teleporting in when your teammate has already died. Like, if you're gonna teleport, it needs to be planned and you need to have done it already before your teammate has taken most of the damage so that it makes it a fair fight. Otherwise, you're just gonna teleport, now your teammate's dead, and then you die. So that's kind of what happened there. Yeah, what I've noticed about these Lulias, in both G2 and TL, is like, in these fights, they don't, they don't really get that ultimate angle. And our Lilia, for example, we use... So, on Lilia, I think Flash is like very important. And you'll notice that Umti used his Flash earlier. Like, he didn't have Flash for that play. He has it now. But he used his Flash earlier at the Raptor camp, right? When they got one kill for Rel. But imagine if he had Flash there. Maybe he could have done more. He could have flashed the Poppy ult. Or something like that. But he needs to ask himself, like... Was me flashing at the Raptors, right? Because think about it, they already got the Raptor camp. So it's not like he was like, and if he didn't, he would have been flashing to try to secure a Raptor camp. They could have just left, let the Poppy walk in. They could have, he could have left, and he would have gotten the Raptor camp anyway. I, don't know. I will say though, guys, it, it might sound like I'm like dogging on him a lot. I guarantee if you watch my gameplay, I do the same type of mistakes all the time. Even though I know about the mistakes, and I can point them out. It's a lot different to watch a game from this POV, right? When you don't have to worry about any mechanics, you're just watching the game. It's a lot different than actually playing the game, okay? If I was playing against SKT, I'd probably make like twice as many mistakes. I'll tell you this. So, if you guys are like... Just imagine this, okay? If you're lower ranked. If you've ever played against like a challenger player or a masters or even a diamond player sometimes like in a normal game or something it just feels like you're have no options and you're just getting choked out me as a challenger player right i've i've hit the top 100 in na if i play against like some pro players it feels like i'm getting choked out right i feel that way so could you imagine what it's like to play against t1 or even Genji. I think Genji might be like so painful to play against because those guys will just <laughs> they will like just toy with you, you know. Like if you if you take a wrong step, they'll just take a turret, or take Baron or something. He one is actually really good at just taking Baron like in front of your face if you make one mistake. Anyway, let's get back to Lilia. So we're at 97 CS, so we're doing pretty good. I think it's like what? It's okay, it's like 7 CS per minute. And uh... <laughs> Core is not level 6. I mean our teammates are just dying now. And now because we've made, I think Umpty has made a total of like 3 mistakes. And now you're level 8 at the same time as a Poppy. And keep in mind that this Poppy just wasn't doing camps for like 3 minutes. Now we're down- dude, the, the Poppy is level 9 and you're level 8 as Lilia. You cannot skip your full clear. And you, and you need to focus on camps rather than focusing on kills. Like... The way you need to be thinking about the game is you need to be fighting around objectives where the enemy team has to maybe walk into you and fight you and then you can kill them at the objective and take the objective. Because you want them to be at the disadvantage and walk into you and maybe you have a flank or some type of like trap set up. That's why I wanted him to do the dragon after the bot lane play because he had flash and ult so he could get the enemy team to walk in and then kill them and take the dragon. Instead, he fought them at the Raptors, and then when he was doing Dragon, 
which he shouldn't have done because he used his flash and ult. But he was doing dragon without his flash ult. He's gonna die. And now we're doing another dragon, but <laughs> you see why you don't pick Lilia and Devane? Like, are you kidding me, bro? This is like this game was so embarrassing to watch, guys. I'm not gonna lie. This is the second best team in our. No, this is the best team in our in our league. There's just they're just desperately fighting, and it's like it's whatever. T T one is just playing with them. Oh my god. We're down 10k. Uh, well, I'll tell you guys this: when you're in this type of position, you're down 10k as Lilia, you're not gonna win. You need to hit an insane flash ult, and then maybe you can win a fight. But down 10k, it's rough. And it really sucks for Lilia because I actually think that he would have had a great, like, early game. Because he was doing really good. But I think that his bot lane actually told him to go for the dive on Senna as she was walking out of base. And that ended up snowballing everything to be a complete waste of time. And then to the raptor fight and then dying at the dragon like you need to realize that when you're playing a champion like Lilia you're the win condition so you need to demand the resources and attention from your team when usually jungle is the one being demanded you know what I mean I mean yo use hey, Lilia is so useless in the vein <laughs> The vein has ghosts, so it's not like you can ever catch her. And when you're about to catch her, she's just gonna eat you away. Um, but yeah. I don't know what more there is to say about this game, to be honest. Because when you get to this point, like, you're never going to get a clean, full clear. You never have full access to your camps. Let's see. Let's see, what's something going to do in this fight? You know, at least G2 got to, like, team fights. Actually, we didn't even get to team fights this game. Like... There, there's no team fight where MT can do anything. Oh no. Uh, they just have to watch as they get... <laughs> they get just murdered. T1 doesn't even have Baron, and they just broke two inhibs. Alright, let's see. Are we gonna have a huge Lilia play here? We one man slept the Poppy? I think we could have gone to sleep on the Orin as well. Maybe burned the cleanse from Senna. Okay, not a bad fight. Can we do Baron? We would have to do Baron here to even have a chance. Oh, someone subscribed to my YouTube. Thank you, Justin. Justin Brammer. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. Wrong camera. Um, so let's see. So we won this fight. We're only down 9k now. <laughs> our Lilia, dude, our Lilia has 
Lahedris and a Zanya's component. What? We're, we're going to be doing zero damage here. I understand why he's going there, honestly. He kind of needs utility because he's useless. He does not have the money to afford good items. Let's see, this is your momentum too. You have ult and you have flash, right? Oh, his ult's up in 8 seconds. He doesn't even have ult. And they got knocked into their base. Well, we still have our flash, okay? Maybe Umti can pull off a miracle play. Core JJ sitting at a comfortable level 9. It is, I'm, I'm telling you guys, it's such a shame. Like, being Lilia and being the same level as a Poppy is, is wild. It's crazy. Damn, that was actually a clean shockwave. We, we got a good sleep, I guess. Can they win this? Oh, they're just losing the game. Come on, Umpty. Oh, you can't get a range of vein? Who would have thought, bro? Oh, never mind. Okay. We got the vein. We traded vein kill for the Nexus. That's huge. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Unfortunate for Team Liquid. Well, not unfortunate. I think that they made a lot of mistakes, but it is what it is. I hope you guys learned something. Maybe for your own gameplay, making decisions early game, can you can see how it can butterfly effect the rest of your game. I do think that they had a great opportunity to get their Lilia up like 30 CS without having to lose any kills. Uh, but that's not what they did. And uh, GG. And, uh, well, thank you guys so much for watching. When you guys are watching this video, I will probably be in Iceland or traveling to Iceland. If you are interested in my coaching and you liked what I did here, join my Discord. You can message me there. And if you guys are interested in getting the new Lilia skin, I'm doing a giveaway on my previous video, the G2 video. You can go there, ask me a question in the comments there, and I will... And the winners will be announced in like the next week or two when I'm comfortable in Iceland and I have a setup. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.